Hello, 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 all Cynthia here back with a fun traveller's notebook layout. So I have these photos here. This is a four by six, roughly. Obviously, it's printed just a tad smaller than that. And then I also have four smaller photos over, um, currently sitting on the right-hand side there. I'll trim those up and put them on the right-hand page as well. So I used the, an app here and I've just printed my photo and I typed a little bit of journaling underneath. I don't know why I haven't thought to do this before. Um, this is the first one I've done and I really like it. So I dare say I'll probably might include more of my journaling this way because I don't particularly like my handwriting. I think I will still always keep a little bit of my handwriting on the page, but I might um, do some more longer journaling like this maybe. We shall see. So I've just had these photos here. As I said, they are no particular measurements, so I wouldn't tell you what they are. I just made them all fit on the one 4x6 page. And I'm going to print them out. No, I'm going to cut them out. I just need to back a couple on some white cardstock as when I trimmed them up, there wasn't quite enough white around them. So I'll just re-back those. So the photos here are documenting the girls' trip away. So this is a photo of our mother's group or my mother's group. So we got together 10 years ago now. So our oldest born are 10 this year. And so we decided to go away with the kids. So the mother's group ourselves, the actual ladies, we get together and go away somewhere at least once a year together. Um, and uh, we catch up more often than that, but at least once a year we go away for a weekend. But this time we decided we'll take the kids with us. Um, so we hired a big house with lots of bedrooms and the kids and the parents, the mothers, sorry, and the fathers, the whole lot of us all went away. And this is just documenting that. So the photo at, that's currently on the right page there we went for a walk along the beach and it was so windy uh, we sat down on this a seat and or some steps and the wind was just making all of our hair stand up on end so it was quite funny so i just want to document that and other than that it's just the kids playing around um you know in the spa and on the beach and just the view from the where we were staying so I have this gorgeous crepe paper here, this yellow and white stripe paper. So I'm going to use that. And I've just gone through the 6x6 paper pad, which is from the Pink Fresh Studio Out and About collection. And I want to find which paper I can use on the opposite page. I end up pulling out three different lots before finally, finally settling on what I wanted. Um, but... You'll see which one I choose. The, the first couple, I like the idea of them, but they ended up being a little bit too busy. So I do go back in for a bit more of a plainer, uh, less subtle pattern, or a more subtle, I should say. Decided that I'll put the little photos on this side, and I'm just trying to swip, switch them around to see how I like them. But I end up liking the two bluer photos in the middle and the, the two sort of more beach photos on the top and bottom. And this is where I'm still deciding what paper I want to back this page with. And I've already pulled out one or two lots, but I go back again and have a look around. Think about that one. Flip. So this is what I do when I'm looking. I just put the paper there, the pad there, and I just flip through to see which one I think will work. And I do settle on this light grey one. So I pull that out and I end up putting that down on the page and then I come back in and have a look at the embellishments and all to see what I can use. How has everyone been? You've all been well. You're all managing to get a bit crafty, get doing some scrapping or some art journaling or whatever it is that you may be. I do hope so. I went yesterday, I went to a local craft 
D stash market and that's pretty exciting for where I live we never have anything like that so I went off to have a look to see what there was and I brought some um, some great stamps so I was happy with that I got very excited when I saw the sign in fact I was driving along the highway and I saw the sign and I said to myself did that just say craft D stash market so I ended up having to do a UE turn go back pulling off and I took a photo of the sign so I could uh, make sure I could remember when it was. Uh, but anyway, and so that was uh, a nice outing for the day. But it, a lot of it was um, knitwear as well. So a lot of wool and um, patterns and that type of stuff. But there was, um, you know, a good mix of scrapbooking. Unfortunately, there was no art journaling or you know so there's no paints and mixed media products but I still enjoyed it so I've grabbed out the tags here these tags came in the pink fresh studio collection out and about and I've just used two of them behind the smaller photos and I like the way they look and I'm going to mount I stick those down and then put some tape through not tape but some string through the holes and I've also used one of them as a template to cut that yellow cardstock into a little bit of a, a tag to go behind my photos I really liked um, the paper clip is that what you'd call them which I've stuck on top of the photo there which says something like enjoy the view which I thought was quite appropriate for the photo but where I wanted to sit it I couldn't actually clip it behind the photo the way they meant to work so I end up just trimming the bottom bit off so I could sit it there if I used it the way I was meant to use it as you could see one of the bits would go down over Dana's head we didn't want to do that so just stuck those down and now I'm going through the sticker sheet that come with this collection so I'm working with my March kit from the wild hair kits here um, for my March kit I did ask for a fair bit of the well I did ask for some of the um, pink fresh studio collection got these round tags here I initially thought I would stick them both on the left hand side of the photo as in like a little pull tab bit but didn't like the way that works so I stick one there and um, I don't recall I don't think I come back with the other one in the end I did try it in a couple of different places but decide to leave it off just going to put some string through that tag there as well and liking that the way it is so off camera you don't see me do it but I do come back in I add a little bit more hand journaling I just end up typing it underneath um, the photo this main photo here on this side um, as I said going forward I might actually use the the actual app that I was using to create the photo the uh, more journaling with but we'll see what am I doing? I've pulled out some of these colour cast design wood veneer pieces. I love these. They're nice and thin and they have a sticky back. So that I didn't get those in this month's kit. I got those in a previous month's kit. But I do use a three of those. I use um, one on top of the actual main photo. No, down the bottom you'll see. I decide that I want to add just something else over onto this side. Um, and I want to bring that circle element across so I put that one there and then I put that little tag underneath it just to give it somewhere to go and that's where I'll put that wood veneer and then I as you can see I put one up there and one in the middle as well so there's just three of those pegged across the page and I really don't think I do much more than that as I said I come back in and do a little bit of hand journaling down the bottom and that's about it So make sure you check out the wild hair kits I will leave the link below you can customize your kit you can tell Alison and the crew over at the 
at the Whitehead Kits what you would like to receive and she will create a kit based on your preferences. So the surf certainly worth checking out. There's some close-up photos coming up, so stay tuned for those. And as always, I do hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love reading all your comments. And until next time, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week, or a lovely month. And I will talk to you on the next video. Okay, bye.